<laughs> I'm glad you asked. Uh, I just need to set my feet and complete the ball to the running back. Um, I felt like we had a little bit of heat. You know, maybe somebody was on my back and wanted to avoid a sack and, and just probably rush the throw. Um, didn't really get have much balance or, um, uh, I guess, um, you know, momentum towards towards the receiver with the throw. So. My bad. I should have made that. Should have should have completed that one. Yeah, I, that's a minus. That is definitely a minus. Yeah. Listen, it was it was special. Everything about the night, you know. Um, I don't know how they pick <laughs> how they pick them, <laughs> right? Monday Night Football, playing the Colts, right? The team that. You know, we, we won the Super Bowl against 10 years ago, so the, the whole, whole uh, Super Bowl 44 team is back for the 10th anniversary, and, and obviously national television, um, you know, big game, and um, now, you know, that record in the balance as well. And just, um, just kind of makes you shake your head, you know, just, are you kidding me? You know, I'm not sure how we got here. <laughs> um, it just, you know, kind of makes your whole life and career flash before your eyes. Um, because I, I, I never, never thought I, I would have had the chance to be a part of, of something like this. And, and just looking at the entire journey, you know, 19 years from five years in San Diego to 14 years here, and um, all the incredible teammates and coaches um, that I've had the chance to play with and for, um, this team right here, uh, who's very special, and, um, of course, our fan base, the Houdat Nation, everybody in the Dome tonight, everybody watching tonight. Um, you know, loved ones, my family, my kids here, um, you know, both my college roommates, two of my best friends in the world, they were here, <laughs> um, you know, their kids. Um, I mean, just, just an incredible night, an incredible experience, incredible moment, to be able to share that with so many people um, because all of them are a big part of this. Um, I, I don't know. I, I mean, it was efficient, <laughs> um, with the exception of the one pass. Um, you know, it was it was it was good tempo. It was good rhythm. Um, listen, I I go out there with the expectation that the ball shouldn't touch the ground, right? Unless I'm throwing it away, or you know, occasionally they're going to make a play, you know. But um, I don't know. It, you just um, you have that expectation. You 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 work for that. You expect that. Um, and, and, and so you're just, you're just playing ball. You know, you're not, I'm, my goal is to be the best decision maker I can be on every play. And um, getting us into the best play, um, you know, throwing the ball where it needs to go, getting into the hands of our playmakers, um, getting us in the end zone, converting third downs, keeping drives alive, playing complimentary football um, with our defense and just, Again, all that goes into just being a great dis decision maker and then being very, very efficient in the passing game. You know, always thinking positive plays, avoiding negative plays, avoiding bad plays. And that's the job of a quarterback, right? And so I take that very serious, and that's what I, that's what I work for. I, I, think, I think it was probably our most complete game of the year, yeah. Um, I think offensively, very efficient, run and pass. Um, defensively, obviously, you know, holding him to, to sh you know, basically pitching a shutout until, you know, the very end of the fourth quarter there. Um, so I think all in all, yes, it was our most complete game. Um, you're, you're, always, you're always striving, you know, you're always striving because you know that the challenges continue to, to get greater and the games become even more important. And, um, you know, we're, we're hitting the home stretch here where we want to be playing our best football. You know, the teams that, that typically succeed in the playoffs and, and are the ones that have that momentum and, and, and they're, they're ascending into the playoffs. We want to be ascending. Well, it's frustrating because then they play it over the Jumbotron. <laughs> oh, man. Um,
Eh, it's all right. We'll, we'll call another play. <laughs> On to the next play. Yeah. Um, he, uh, first off, I, I love the fact it was Josh Hill. Um, oddly enough, he was the honorary captain this week for the team, uh, which means we basically roast him in our Saturday meeting. Um, and, and so it's, it, it's pretty fitting that it was him, especially in the fact that, you know, here's an undrafted free agent who joined our team in 2013, you know, undrafted rookie free agent. Um, man, the epitome of a great team. Um, kind of an unsung hero, a guy that throughout the majority of his career has just been required to do the dirty work, been a four core special teams guy, right? And then, you know, occasionally he'll, I mean, whenever he's had to step in and, 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 and increase that role, as he has many times before, um, he's done an unbelievable job. I have so much trust and confidence in him. And um, the funny thing was, is as we walked up to the ball, you know, the play call comes in and I'm thinking touchdown. And then the minute we walk up to the goal, ball and I, and I see the look and I say, oh, it's definitely a touchdown, right? Um, so it, it, it played out just the way we thought as far as the play call and, uh, and him being you know, wide open on the run action. But uh, I'm, uh, I'm really glad it was him. Wait, so you, you said, what was the question? Or so I know how you like, simulate how the game might yes. pan out. But do you simulate moments like you might break the record <clears> and they stop the game to graduate you or play a video or whatnot? Do you, do you think about that in your head when you're going through that? You know, you know yes. Yes, um, because I don't, I don't want to just be so overcome with emotion that um, you know, there's still a lot of football left to be played right throughout the course of the game. You, these are so unpredictable, right? You, you know, you uh, you hope that it's going to happen. Um, you want to be prepared if it does, um, because I, I I think too part of that is just I, I want to make sure everyone around me knows just how thankful I am for them and how grateful I am to my team, to everyone in the stadium, to our entire fan base, to my family and friends and everyone who was here and um, all those that, that have been such an integral part of this. And so you want to give that value, you know, and you want to you want to be able to do that, and yet. It's within the framework of a game that might be a tight game, and, and so you got to get your mind and focus right back on the next play, and um, you know you're still in it. But um, I'd say the way that it happened tonight obviously allowed us to enjoy it, and it's great. The ball's gonna go to the Hall of Fame. Um, I, they, they, no, I don't. I think they're just gonna have the ball. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's one of the greatest parts of it, is the fact that they they have a chance to share in this, and you know these are moments that we can reflect on and, and we can talk about, and you know they ask questions about, and um, I think even as they get older, I think they'll they'll appreciate that even more, and um, I'm, I'm grateful that I've been able to play this long to to get them to an age where you know they do get it and they get excited about it, and um, it's it's one of the very special parts of all this. Yeah. 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 I. <laughs> I don't know. At the time, I don't know. Uh, Ed, you told me that. I, I don't know if I would have believed you, but um, um, you know, there was a lot of events uh, over the weekend with with uh, all the guys from that Super Bowl 44 team. And so I had a chance to see, you know, just about all of them um, on Saturday night for an event, which was, was great, and obviously, to reminisce on on that season and, and just see those guys and see what everybody's up to. And, you know, it's a lot, lot of them I keep in touch with, but, but even guys that you haven't seen in a long time uh, come back, and it's as if no time has passed as far as just, you know, the memories and uh, the moments and, um, you know, we always said that you win a championship, you walk together forever. And then that's absolutely true in the way that you feel about these guys and, you know, when, when you're able to gather together again. And so um, I look forward to being able to come back in the future as a, 
as a civilian with the guys. Well, Mike Thomas gets open, <laughs> so that's first and foremost. Um, listen, I, I've got so much trust and confidence in him, and um, we've got a lot of time on task together. So um, there's just, you know, so much of our offense has nuances to it as far as the, the route being run and, you know, the direction that you can go or the angle that you can take based upon how the defender's playing you or the defense or the safety or whatever it might be. And um, we've just, we've had a lot of time together, and so, there's that trust and anticipation. Um, and he knows when the ball's coming out. He knows where it's going to be. He knows where he needs to be. And I think when, when, when things are clicking, that's, that's the result. Just out of, out of curiosity, when you're with your family in the crowd, yes. are you actually able to make contact with them? Or are you just kind of like? I knew the general area. I knew the general area, yes. Yeah, listen, um, I, I, I've told you guys, you know, there, there, was, there was that stretch where, man, I, I, didn't, I, didn't, feel like we were, uh, I didn't feel like we were playing our, our type of football. Um, you know, the, I, I didn't like our tempo. I, I, I didn't, you know, I just felt like there was a lot more to be desired there. And, and, and obviously, um, it was slow starts. You know, we, we weren't really coming out and, and getting after it right away like, like I know we can. And, and so it was just a combination of, of you know, a sense of urgency and, and an emphasis on, on a lot of those things. And I think the result has been some faster starts and, you know, getting that tempo and that rhythm and that momentum going and, and then being able to carry that on, having, you know, making good second half adjustments as well, coming out, you know, with, with that first drive of the second half and, and scoring points and, and just continuing that. Um, but, um, yeah, I mean, Listen, we, we want to be as balanced as we possibly can each and every game. We want to be as efficient as we can. We want positive plays. We want to stay on the field. We want to take advantage of big play opportunities. But also, man, we, we got to go 13 plays, 90 yards. You know, we, we, we can do that as well. <laughs> man, he, he's, he's such a stud, you know. Um, I, I know. Going into this season, we were kind of right there, neck and neck, you know. With so, um, he's he's got a lot of rings and records. <laughs> he's he's awesome. You know, I yeah, I I don't know. I mean, I I was just playing ball. I just. I just wanted us to come out and, and put together our, our best game. You know, I, I felt like we, offensively last week, we made strides towards that. You know, I felt like that was probably our, our best offensive game of the season thus far, but, but, but still felt like, you know, there was more to be had. And um, again, each game is different, you know, depending on the number of opportunities you get. And, um, but I just want to continue to see us playing our best football and, and be an ascending team going into the playoffs. Yeah. But at one point, you came over to Sean and he reached out to shake your hand. Yeah. Well, first of all, I'm a hugger. I'm a hugger, <laughs> I'm a hugger more than a handshaker. But uh, um, I mean, listen, Sean, I wouldn't be here without Sean. And, you know, the, the, the time we've had together, the experiences we've had together, um, you know, and, and, and from the very beginning, um, you know, what, what he has built here as far as the foundation and the culture and um, Mickey Loomis as well, you know, two of the most integral parts of this whole organization and, and certainly the reason that I'm here. Um, I'll be forever indebted to those guys. I love those guys. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. One at a time. I'd, I'd, tra I'd, I'd trade it all for, for another one of those. And, and that experience with this, this team, this group of guys. Oh, no. No, I would have I thought you were crazy.
absolutely crazy. I think I told you guys, my first, my first game, NFL game ever, preseason, was at Miami in 2001. And I remember walking to the stadium and looking up and there was Dan Marino um, in the ring of honor with all of his statistics. And I just sat there like, just jaw kind of dropped like, how do you play that long, throw for that many yards and touchdowns and, and everything else, you know? And, I mean, this was at a time when, you know, Peyton Manning was just in his third year. Tom Brady wasn't even a starter yet, you know? Um, and you're just sitting there going, man, I mean, that's like that's light years away, right? And, and then now to look at the journey. Um, and and here, just because I know there's still work to be done and my focus is very much um, when it's all said and done, I think I'll be able to look back even more and, and uh, just be so good. Yep. Thank you. Well, there was lights. Turns into turns into a club. <laughs> turns into a club. We say we, we calm everything down. We say that we say a prayer together, and th and then we crank it. And then we crank it up. Um, party time. But uh, now again, um, I told I told the guys in there that these moments are only special because of the people you get to share them with, and. I love, I love my team, and they're the guys that make this so special. Um, I get to come to work every day, do something that I love to do, be around guys that I want to be around, and um, not everybody gets to do that. So I consider myself very fortunate, very blessed to, to be a part of this team and to have been able to play the game this long and, and have so many of these special moments that I'll remember forever. What's that? You know what, Th that was, that was kind of irony. I just, you know, I don't give a ton of thought into my, my wardrobe. <laughs> um, I like it, I guess. Oh, in front of our fans, um, Monday Night Football. I don't, I don't know if it gets any better. Thank you.